Who, who wants this? You want it? You want it? All right, I'm gonna throw it. I'm gonna throw it. I'm gonna throw it. I'm gonna throw it. You ready? You ready? You ready? Here goes. Here goes. You ready? We gotta work on a car. Hey guys, this is Keith from Let Me Try to Fix It 5000. I've got two things I'm gonna try to deal with today on the Lotus. My speedometer is not the right one. The speedometer in this car is an autometer gauge that someone has installed along the way, and I wanted to replace that with the correct gauge that should be in it. I think A, it looks better, and B, the other one I really don't like. Also, in addition to the speedometer, I also have a problem where the cable that goes into the speedometer is making the most god-awful racket you've ever heard. Check it out. So no promises, but I'm going to try to figure out how to remove the instrument monocle and try to get the speedometer changed out of this car today. So bear with me, stay with me. Let's see if we can get this thing out. Okay, so here is my car and I have already tried to take a look at what we are going to have to do here. Um, from what I can tell, it looks like there is one bolt here that we could maybe remove on both sides of the... Uh, Nope, can't because if you look up here, I can't even get to where the bolt is at. So that's not going to work there. Um, but looking through here, let's if I get the flashlight on that, you can see uh, two threaded bolts going through um, welded nuts that actually hold the, they're kind of like a frame, it looks like, that hold the uh, instrument bonicle to the dash. And looking underneath, it actually looks like that's probably not gonna be that bad to get to. I don't know if that's the only hardware that we're gonna have to remove, but I'm gonna start there. I'm gonna take those two off on both sides. You can see right there, there's the other ones. They're fairly visible. And uh, we're gonna see if that's enough room to get this instrument bonicle out of the car, or at least have it where it gives me enough room to maybe get the speedometer free. So let's see what happens. Okay, so I guess this is good enough. Maybe you can see, but this right here is uh, one of the bolts here. There's the other one, and there are two that are visible right here on the other side. Can you see them? Not. I'll try to move the GoPro over. Maybe I can slide this so you can see. So if you're not limber at all, doing anything under this dash is going to be next to impossible for you. So just FYI, if you are down here trying to do anything under the dash, um, I'm not looking forward to this. I've had the car for about a month and this is a project that I have not looked forward to doing whatsoever. So, um, anyway, bear with me. I'm going to grab what appears to be a 10 millimeter wrench and take the four bolts out and, uh, we'll go from there. We'll see what it takes to maybe get this thing out of the car. Suckiest job ever in a Lotus is under the dash or working under the hood or under the car or the exhaust. Um, definitely not, a, not a accessible, definitely not an accessible car. I mean, I'm, I'm glad I can get to these bolts, but if I know this is going to be what gets the bonicle off, I'm, I'm, I'm sure hoping it is. Looks like it anyway. There's like 30 years of old smell in here. You know, I've got the most perfect tool for this. So I'll be right back. What do they say on up to speed? Mo power, power baby. baby. All right. 
right, so they're out. Uh -huh. Instrument binocles going up and down, so that's a plus. Is there anything in the back? Ah, looky here. So the whole thing comes up, so awesome. So that's it, and looky here. There is a little connector here. We can probably remove it. There's looks like there's a clamp. There's like three wire bundles. I don't know if you can see them where the camera's at. Let me try to move this one. Okay, so there is a connector here. It's fairly big, very obvious. There's another one beside it, another one beside that. And yes, this single wire here that you're seeing dangling, you probably won't have that in your car. This is for that massive radio that I have in mind, and this goes to the microphone that is in the uh, 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 by the rearview mirror. Anyway, I, I didn't really route that too well, but it works. Um, so anyway, this is what we're dealing with here. And it looks like I can pick this whole thing up and probably expose the back end, or at least expose enough of it that I can maybe get to that speedometer cable. I think I am going to take advantage of these harnesses and disconnect them. They probably have been disconnected once in the past, being there's that shit speedometer installed in the car. Um, I'm going to disconnect them again if I can get this connector off. Okay, there's two. And wait, wait, wait for it. I got there's another one. And that one's off. Okay, so I've got the three giant connectors off. And okay, that was loud. I'm in the footwell uh, upside down. Uh, it's an uncomfortable position. Got my um, back up against this door sill, and the door sill on a Lotus freaking sucks. It's real high, and it's uncomfortable. So anyway, I'm upside down right now, and I got the instrument binocle mostly out like the only thing holding it in right now if you can see my hand here the, the only thing holding the binocle in right now would be the cable that goes to the speedometer and that's easy enough to remove um once i get that out i think i'm going to be able to fairly easily get that um speedometer out and hopefully i should be able to do that like on my table so that's going to make it a whole lot easier to do it actually appears to be a lot easier than i thought it was going to be so let's see how the rest of this goes Okay, so I'm back in the car and my next part of this I think is going to be tilting this thing up and trying to disconnect that cable, which I think I hopefully can just get my hand on and unthread it. So, bam, we got that out. We have the instrument cluster out of the car. Bam, that really wasn't that bad at all. And we also have the speedometer we're going to remove with a better speedometer. So let's see if we can get that done too. Way easier than I really thought, which is scaring the hell out of me right now because I'm waiting for something really difficult. So far, so good. If I, if I could add one piece of advice, if you are under the dash doing this job, once you've got the instrument monocle out, take the time to clean up. You can see this thing, it's not super dirty, but definitely shows some sign of Probably some drink spillage along the way. Leather could stand to see a little conditioning on it. But, and also I would say also this could make it a little bit easier if you were replacing speakers. It would looks to me like it would make it a lot easier to get to those screws without the bonicle in than it would be in place. So if you're doing that kind of work, definitely keep that in mind. Most of you guys are probably crazy excited about owning a Lotus as I am. And I would say after you've got the instrument monocle removed from the car, I would say, in my opinion, to keep things from getting scratched up, um, get you a towel or something and lay on your table um, just to keep things from getting scratched up. This is one that was sent to me from the UK that uh, had the gauge I needed in it. This is a speedometer that's gonna go in the car. And um, uh, it came out of this uh, console here and this thing's seen better days. It's got scratches in it. It's got a place in the leather that's all jacked up and messed up. And I, I, I'm not gonna use it. Definitely lay it out on a towel or something just to keep it from getting scratched up or damaged. Um, that's about what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna get the new bonicle. We're gonna flip it over on this towel. We're gonna look it over and we're gonna see how easy maybe it'll be removing these, uh, these gauges. Also while I'm doing this, I think I might swap out, if I've got enough, I might swap out the bulbs in the dash for LEDs if I have enough. 
um, that might be on the project as well. So anyway, stay tuned. Let's see if we can get, uh, if we can look this thing over and see what we see. So this is the, this is the Ispirit binocle that came out of my car. Um, as you can see, the gauge on it is not what belongs in the car and I'm gonna swap it out. Um, we'll take a look at that right now. Um, the rest of the console looks pretty good and pretty clean. I'm pretty satisfied with it, but let's take a look at what it's gonna take to maybe remove this, this thing. Okay, so I don't think this is gonna be that bad of a job. It looks like uh, if I take this off and take this off, I should be able to make the speedometer uh, fall right out. At least that's what I'm hoping. And uh, now getting the other one back in, I don't know. I don't know if, uh, if it's going to be uh, the same hardware putting it back in. I certainly hope so, but um, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not keeping my, I'm not keeping my hopes up that this is going to work, but, but maybe, maybe it will. If it don't, we'll have to come up with a alternate plan to make this work. Okay. So I've got the crappy speedometer out of the car. I want to replace it with the Lotus speedometer in the car. Um, hoping this one works the part. It, it, uh, keeping my fingers crossed that it will well this gauge didn't work but I'm not gonna go through all that right now I'm just gonna show you how to reinstall I've got another video planned where I'll show exactly what happened and what I did to fix the problem Okay, so part one of this is this, and I've got it back in. I'm pretty satisfied with the way that looks. While I had this off, I did swap out uh, and put LEDs in the tachometer and speedometer. I didn't have enough to do the rest of the gauges, but I did try them out. They do look pretty good. Um, right now, the next thing I'm gonna do is put some lube on the cable sheathing. I actually think that the inside of the thing looks pretty cool without the instrument bonicle in here. It gives it a totally different look. Um, I think this would have been a pretty neat way of, of having it if you had some sort of heads up display or something like that going on in this thing instead of the whole instrument bonicle. That, that, that may be something that, that, uh, that might would be a really cool looking mod to one of these cars, but I'm not doing that today. Um, I wanted to show some things here. This is the uh, the speedometer cable, and this one has an adapter on it. The adapter is the, the last about half an inch here that I'm pointing at, and uh, that allows it to fit that uh, autometer gauge. Anyway, I've got the cable pulled out of this already, and what I'm gonna try doing first is uh, get some graphite and pour graphite down that hole. Um, if I can get some graphite in it, I think that might keep the uh, I think that might keep the cable from making a lot of noise. Anyway, uh, just stay tuned. Let's see if we can get some graphite down in it. Okay, so I've got two things I'm going to try doing to get the graphite down in there. One, I've got the graphite, and literally this is nothing but kind of like pencil uh, graphite, just powdered. Um, I'm going to try to get that down in the hole. Then I'm going to use the air compressor to try to uh, get it to go down in the hole and I'll just keep doing that until I get I don't know a good portion of it down in there anyway I'm hoping that works we'll see <laughs> yeah that was like a mess bomb Woo, woo, that was a mess. Anyway, check my hand out just like that. That is really amazing. So the compressor may not be the way to go. I think what I'll do is probably just use the cable itself and try to uh, use the cable to kind of push it down.
Okay, so I've got it in and I have made a mess in my dash and uh, before I do much else, I'm going to get some uh, some cleaner and try to clean everything up. All right, so I'm back and I've got the bonicle. First thing I'm gonna do is try to get the cable reconnected for the speedometer and then the rest of everything, but I imagine mostly from the bottom. Long as it is well lit, I should be able to get underneath the dash and be able to see how to get everything hooked up. It was literally three harnesses. The duct worked for the uh, vent and uh, speedometer cable, four bolts. I mean, it really wasn't that bad. So anyway, I'm gonna put this back in place and uh, try to get it hooked up. So let's see what happens. back connected and like I said there were four bolts there's two there there's two over here and then there are three connectors there's about there's one that's about two and a half inches wide one that's about an inch and a half wide and then there is a uh, kind of an oval shaped connector and then uh, of course you also have the duct work for the defrost vent but anyway, that is back connected. Um, the speedometer is hooked up. And uh, we're gonna take this thing for a quick ride and uh, see, if, uh, see if we've got any issues. Okay. So I'm about to crank it up. Fires right up, good thing. Tachometer light ain't working. And as you can see, I did put a LED in the Speedo and it looks pretty good. I'm pretty tickled with that. The tachometer light did not work on the other hand and so I'll probably end up having to take it back out and replace the bulb in that. But I, like I said, it's not that bad of a job. But right now I just want to see if my speedometer actually works without bouncing all over the place. So uh, I'm going to take it for a little test drive real fast and we'll see what it does. I have a puppy that wants to ride so I'm gonna take her with me. I think she'll enjoy that. So the gate's open. Breaks off. Here we go. You you want to ride? You want to ride anyway, didn't you? And I'm gonna buckle up.
uh, and the gauge seems to be working and the trip meter and the uh, odometer both seem to be working as well. So it is uh, all around win-win for me. I'm totally tickled with it. I got other projects need to be done with this car. Uh, I had no idea this car had power door locks. I've been manually locking each door. Um, so <laughs> they don't work. So that's going to be on the project list. That's something that needs to be looked at. Um, a few other things, not many, but uh, if you'd like to, if you'd like to follow along on my projects, please make sure you click the subscribe button, and um, you'll definitely be able to keep up with what's going on. Anyway, I'm, I'm real tickled with the way this speedometer works. I'm, I'm definitely calling this fixed. It looks correct and it is working. Good gracious. I think my dog just said this is fast. You're on video. Getting all these little problems figured out has been fun. So, uh, like I said, if you want to follow along with me as I get all these little problems fixed on this car, make sure you click the subscribe button and you'll be one of the first to be notified when uh, when I've got a new video out. Thanks for watching and uh, if you've got a Lotus, I hope you're out enjoying it. And if you don't have a Lotus, I hope this helps you decide to, uh, to purchase one because they're definitely fun vehicles to drive. Anyway, thanks for watching, take care.